okay so let's continue with our uh, kafka tutorial series and in the first video we have covered like why do we need kafka what is the problem statement which kafka has resolved and some basic very basic definition of the kafka so now we will like look at the kafka architecture very basic architecture we are not going to into deep at the first stage maybe we are going to deep at the later stage and we are going to see the kafka component so let's click on it so till now we have covered like all the problem statement in which industry like Kafka is used and uh, before Kafka, what was the problem and with Kafka, how we resolve the problem we have already covered in the first video. So let's see the Kafka component under the architecture. So you don't need to learn all this Kafka component. You don't need to cramp all the or like uh, uh, thoroughly like learn all these components. What you have to do is you have to just keep an understanding. Okay, what is Kafka? So how you are going to resolve some problem? So you have uh, you, Kafka is basically used for to decoupling our microservices, right? So you have one microservice because we already see one example in the retail industry. We have one microservice. Earlier, that microservice is directly attaching with the uh, some second microservices. So there there was some problem in that architecture. So now we have put some Kafka in, uh, between that, right? So we have one microservice which is going to publish some message, and that message is going to store into this Kafka server, and then there is a another microservice or an application which is going to consume this message from this Kafka server, right? So the service which is going to produce some messages is called as producer, which is going to consume some message is called as a consumer. And the middleman, this is the middleman, is called as server or we can call it as a broker, right? So these are the three components. So first component is producer. Producer means the application. It could be any number of application. Right, it could be application microservice who is going to uh, produce some messages. Right, so we have producer, consumer. The consumer is another application who are going to consume some data. Right, and the broker. So, so as I told you, you don't need to learn. Okay, what you first producer, consumer, broker, topic cluster. No, you don't need to. You have just figure it out. Okay, what is the diagram of that? And based upon the diagram, you can remember, okay, there is a one thing which is going to produce some message. So we have producer. There is a one thing which is going to consume some message. We have consumer. There is a one thing which is going to store some message that is called a Kafka broker or Kafka server, right? So producer is an application that sends message to the Kafka topic. That is done. Consumer is an application that reads or consumes message from the Kafka topic. That is also done. Broker. Broker is a server. Just take a kind of a, like a machine. Uh, like, right? So it is a kind of a machine, a server server instance that store messages published to the Kafka topic. So because this producer is publishing some message, so it is going to be stored. So that is going to be stored into the Kafka server. And when the consumer is going to be up, so let's say the consumer is down, so it can be stored here. So when the consumer is going to be up, so it can be consumed. So the middleman is the broker. So broker is just nothing, is a server instance that is store some messages published to the Kafka topics. Okay. Now the third concept is topic. Now you see when we are publishing, when the producer is uh, publishing some messages, it is going to be stored. But where it is going to be stored? So let's suppose I, I told you like, uh, this is a very basic application. But if you consider the wider term, there could be many producer, right? So there could be many producer. We have the order service, which is going to produce some messages. Uh, we have the notification service as well, which is going to produce some messages. We have some package service. We are going to produce some messages. Because the package service, like, let me let me scroll up. So let me show you here. So you could see order service is also producing some message and it is storing in Kafka. But package service is also, also receiving plus plus producing some messages. All right. So package service, if it has to consume, then it can it considers a consumer. But along with that, it will also uh, like produce some message. So package service also has to produce some message. Shipping service also has to produce some message. All right. And there could be many more services which are going to produce some messages. But how within the Kafka, because uh, like we are st storing, like in this architecture, there is only one uh, Kafka, right? There is a one broker instance. Broker instance means like just consider one for the time before the simplicity of the architecture. There is a one, one machine, right? So order service message is in some other format. So it is going to be stored. Packet service message in some other format. Then it is going to be stored. Shipping service message in some other format then it will be a mess, right? So it will be a mess. So what you have to do is, what you have to do is, you have to create a topic. So topic you can consider like a folder in your machine. So like when you have 
to arrange something in your computer what you do you create some folder okay in this folder i will put my uh, github projects in this folder i am going to put my lead code questions in this folder i am going to put my geeks for geeks material right so you are creating some different different folders right uh, why you are creating to different different to arrange something you don't need to check so whenever you need some git related things you just click on the git folder and you can receive that thing so topic is more or less similar to that so topic is a named category of a message named category name named category means a kind of a folder you can say right so so in a broker you can cr create multiple topics maybe one topic uh, is for the order service so the name of the topic so I, I said the named category so name of the topic is is a uh, order order topic let's suppose the order topic so one one topic uh, name could be package topic one topic could be like a supplier topic right so when the order service is going to produce some message it is going to be stored into the order topic or you can say the order order folder when the package service is going to produce some message it is going to be stored into the package folder or you can say the package topic right so what is topic a topic is a named category of message producer publish message to a topic so earlier in this diagram i said okay uh, producer is going to publish some message and the message is going to be stored into the broker which is fine but it's not like that it's just going to store into the broker within the broker it is going to be stored in a kind of a some folder and we we will not say it as a folder in the kafka terminology we will call that as a topic all right so as i told you it could be many producer so let's suppose we have one producer we have two producer we have three producer and we have one machine just forget what the two machine we have one machine and it could be many consumer consumer one consumer two consumer three all right and we have topics so, so let just forget about the broker too just consider there is a one node there is a one node there is a one machine so in one machine maybe you created two folder one is topic one one is topic two so you created two folder one is topic one just forget about this partition uh, just forget about that for the timing you you think just we create two folder one is topic one one is topic two right so maybe producer one is going to store into the topic one producer two is going to store into the, into the topic two producer three is going to be stored into the topic three all right okay so now now come to the point as a cluster so what is cluster not in terms of a kafka but in general term in general term what is a cluster cluster is a group of something right so it could group of something so in the kafka terminology cluster is a group of kafka brokers right so earlier i said okay there is a one producer there is a one consumer and there is a one broker right but what will happen if this machine is going down what will happen if this machine is going to be down or let's suppose if this machine did not go down but we have so many producer will it going to be handled so much load all right so it is not going to be handled so much load generally in case of like auto scaling we had so many ec2 instances right the same thing same thing uh, generally in the kafka cluster in the actual production environment there could be not a single broker there could be multiple brokers multiple broker means there could be multiple ec2 machines you can say there could be multiple uh, server machines you can say all right so kafka cluster so those all all server machine a group of those server machine is called as a kafka cluster so we have covered producer we have covered consumer we have covered broker broker is a single machine we have covered topic 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 is a kind of name category or kind of folder we have covered a cluster cluster is a group of broker group of a kafka broker right okay now come to the partitions offsets so what is partition and what is offset so you could see uh it is not mandatory it is definitely not mandatory to create a partition so partitions uh is a kind of a within a folder you can create a kind of a subfolder like, like like a thing right so what is partition so one one topic uh, by default by default there is only one partition one partition means like uh, just an empty folder as uh, you can whatever you are going to put you are going to put in into that folder so by default there is a partition zero so let's let's put this topic two where i'm moving my cursor there let's put this a topic two so by default there is only one partition so whatever the producer is going to produce message every message is going to be stored into the partition zero every message is going to be stored into the partition zero all right uh, so it is going to be stored into the partition zero so but you can create multiple partitions you can create multiple partitions so what will happen so let's what producer is going to produce uh, some message uh, like very frequently your producer is very fast all right so you can create multiple partitions so what will happen producer is going to store into partition zero uh, then partition let's put there as a uh, 
there is a one application but you have scaled that application and all this application is of a single application it's not a different different application now all the application are producing some message so what it will do is we can create a partition into that topic so this producer is going to be stored in partition zero maybe this producer whatever the message is going to be stored in partition one this producer is going to maybe partition two if there is more partition so partition is like further more uh in deep so partition is a subdivision of a topic uh, for the time being, just consider, uh, don't go very in deep what is partition in actual terms. We will are going to look when we are going to do the hands-on using the code, right? But for the time being, just like uh, by looking whatever the architecture diagram we have covered earlier, right? Uh, uh, this kind of diagram, like what is the problem statement is going to solve, just uh, keeping that in the mind. Uh, learn all this terminology uh, what is producer what is consumer broker topic cluster and partitions partition is a subdivision of a topic within a cluster each message in a topic belongs to a specific partition right now what is an offset offset is offset is nothing offset is a kind of a unique number unique number let me let me show give you the example so let's put there is a one topic so i i said in 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 a topic by default there is only one partition that is the partition zero but you can create multiple partition let's suppose in topic one i created two partition partition zero and partition right so let's put this is a topic and it in this topic we create three partition partition zero partition one partition two and let's put the producer is going to produce some message right so we know producer is going to produce some message it is going to be stored into the broker but within the broker it is going to be stored into the topic and within the topic it is going to be stored into the partition right so uh so it's come to the broker broker and then it's go to the topic and the topic and go to the partition so producer is uh, like uh, send first message so first message it's coming to the partition zero then producer send another message it's go to the part uh, like a uh, uh, this is in message number one then it's create one more message then it's, uh, it's come to the uh, message number two it's create one more message it's come to the message number three so you could see as soon as the message come as soon as the message come so by default a number has been assigned and all the number has been assigned into the sequence incremental order and starting from the zero so let's put the first message come into the partition zero so the number will be given as a zero the second message come and the number will be given as a one the third message come the number will be given as a two then another message come the number will be given as a three so this is called as an offset so what is the what is the benefit of like a like creating this kind of offset so let me explain you so in this architecture what we have done is so let me give you this example so in this architecture where we don't have the kafka so we see user is uh, creating some order and order service uh, process something because order service is online but package service is not online because there were some error in the package service so package service is down so there is a some like uh, because order service or order service can even in during the logic you can there is some count you can give a retry but after some count you have to like throw the error right you can't uh, do some infinite number of like a retry right so there should be some 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 time of retry right so let's put this is a package survey and this is an error so to to simplify that what we did is we introduce some kafka so order service said that okay my work is and i am sending the message and message is going to be stored so if package service is up then it is going to consume that message but if package service is down then it's going not going to be consume the message then what is the use of offset so offset is let me show you so let's let's put there is a consumer let's put there is a consumer let's put there is a consumer here where i'm moving the cursor so consumer start reading the message okay it read first first message from zero it reads second message one it reads uh, another message uh, two then after that consumer go down maybe some other reason consumer go down but it already read zero one two now the consumer went up again so how the consumer know i ha i already read zero one two message now i have to read from three how the consumer is going to be know so that's why the offset is necessary so within the brokers somewhere it is going to be stored that information okay that consumer has already read message number zero message number one message number two now whenever the consumer is going to be up then it has to be read from the three that's why we have to give the offset offset is just a numbering right so every message published will get a unique id called an offset a numerical value right uh, consumer within a partition okay now we have the consumer groups 
so consumer group so we have the consumer if we group those consumer it's called as a consumer group a set of consumer working together to collaborate it's called a consumer group why it is like uh, necessary and what is the benefit of this just for the parallel processing so there is one application you can create multiple consumer in that application uh, because as an example uh, your producer is published in three partition partition zero partition one partition two right and you have only one consumer so one consumer can read either from partition zero or either from partition one or either from partition two right but if you have three consumer then you can align okay consumer zero can you read from partition zero consumer one can you read from partition one consumer two can you read from partition two all right but if you create even more consumer let's go consumer four but that will be idle so it, because consume because there are only three partition so there should be three consumer if you, if you create more consumer that is going to because that consumer is unnecessary the wastage of resources you are unnecessary creating that so those group of consumers called a consumer group those group of consumers called a consumer group now come to the Jew Keeper. So Jew Keeper concept was in the older version of the Kafka. Right. So Jew Keeper concepts has been removed from the latest version of the Kafka. But let's uh, look at the what is the Jew Keeper. So it is required in the older version of Kafka. And uh, in the modern version of the Kafka, it's eliminated the need of the Jew Keeper. Okay. What is Jew Keeper? I will I will give you one example. So as I told you, producer is going to produce some message. It is going to be stored into the broker. Within the broker is going to be stored within the topic. And within the topic, it is going to be stored in the partition. And within the partition, it is assigning as an offset. All right. So as I told you, there is a consumer. Consumer will read from the offset, from the topic. But from the topic, a topic uh, with from the topic, it should read from the partition. And from the partition, it will read from the offset. All right. So consumer is now up. So consumer read from zero. Consumer read from read first message that is from offset zero consumer read second message that is offset number one consumer read third message offset number two now consumer go down now consumer go down now after five minutes consumer get up how consumer is going to know i have to read from the offset number three how how consumer is going to know so that information jew keeper was storing so jew keeper is a kind of a, another uh like uh, a component in the kafka cluster like we have the producer we have the broker we have the topic we have the partition we have the consumer so jew keeper is one of the component which was in the older version but not in the later like a uh, uh, new new version of the kafka so jew keeper is one of the so that will going to manage all these kind of things so when the consumer is going to be down okay uh jew keeper is maintain the record okay this consumer already read zero one two so whenever the consumer is going to be up consumer communicate with the jew keeper jew keeper will, will tell to the consumer okay you already read zero one two offset now you have to read from the third offset all right but now the jew keeper has been removed i told you jew keeper has been removed from the new version of the kafka now if the jew keeper has been removed who is going to store all this information now the broker itself is going to store this information so broker itself is going to manage all this information all right so that's it uh, that's the end of the video so we have we have covered two things why do we need kafka that is our first video which is very important because if we don't know the problem statement, then there is no need to learn the Kafka. First, we know the problem statement, which problem statement we are going to resolve. So we covered uh, with multiple examples of the multiple industries. And then we have covered components and the architecture. And we have covered like very basic uh, definitions, very basic definitions, uh, very one, one line definition. This is not an official definition. This is very basic definition. And we have covered very basic architecture, very basic ar architecture, which is necessary like uh, to learn as an initial step, which is necessary for an initial step. We know we have the producer, we know we have the server, if we can create multiple server, right? But there is a concept of distributed, so many things, event processing, event streaming, that we are going to cover at the later stage. All right, so that's it. Uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you.